Okay, hi everybody. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I was actually planning to make this video. Uh, there's been a bit of upheaval. Um, I'm now actually in a different classroom, as you might be able to see behind me. Um, and over the last few weeks, there's been a lot of busyness. So um, I'm producing now an email um, confirmation which allows you to confirm your email address is correct. Um, and I'm going to show you very quickly how to do that um, using what we've already got inside Contact Circle. So let me move to the right screen. Um, if you can remember, we've got a, um, a sign-up uh, control. Um, if I just move some of these, our, our sign-up control exists within um, our main.master page. Uh, you can see it's just here. And it um, lives at the top here. So when you hit sign-up, you do your username, password, confirm password, email address, sign-up, after clicking the sign-up button. Um, one of the things that we left was a placeholder for the send confirmation email uh, with the email address and the user ID. Uh, the reason for this is that we're going to build something called the registration link page. Or, um, if we go to the registration link page, all I've done is create an empty ASP.NET page uh, which was an add new item and I've used a web form using master page and then selected our master page. This is where we're going to actually put our content for our registration link. Um, Let's start with this page, it's nice and simple. Um, we're just going to write, please confirm your email address, your password, and the text box. And a button, change the name. to txt password. I'm going to change text mode to password um, so that people can't see the line. And then I'm going to change the button. I'm going to call it VM confirm. I'm going to change it to confirm. So how do we actually make this Work where we've got our send confirmation. Well, we start with um, we've got a piece of code called email access. And we need an SMTP server, which you would have to have already set up, a from address, which again you need to have that works with your. Um, your particular SMTP server. And I'm going to set it for me, so the name that's going to come up is Chris Lewis. Okay. And let's actually correct it and say email rather than email mail. And then send an email. All you need to do to send an email is send something to the, e the toon address, which is email address. Now we don't actually know what their toon name is, so I'm just going to send it to email address. We could probably have picked it up. Um, I'm going to call this confirmation contact circle. Then you can say if you want your body text to be in HTML or not with that boolean true or false and then put the text in here. So at the moment I'm just going to put that as a blank piece of uh, a blank string. That is what you have to do to actually send an email. So how do we actually create the email? So this is what I'm next going to do. Um, And what we're going to do is obviously put in our HTML tags first of all. And you need head and body, although actually you don't need to put in head for an email, so we might just stick with body because it's just quicker. Um, and then what I'm going to do in here, I'm going to put in a thank you for signing up. Click um, the link below to confirm your email address. And now I'm going to put a line break in. So actually let's just make it easier for you guys to see. Let's just hide that. Uh, so I'm going to put a line break in. And then the link is going to be HTTP and whatever the address is that you've got. So mine's not actually really here, but I imagine it is for the contact circle.co.uk. Um, 
and then forward slash I'm going to call it registration link .aspx and then I'm going to put the um, question mark in um, which means that I can add some extra information to something called the query string and I'm going to set ID equals and then I'm going to put in the user ID okay so at the moment I'm putting in um, part of my uh, my web page now at the moment this isn't a link I can even click on um, it is obviously um, in uh, Visual Studio but it's not a link that would be able to be clicked on within the browser itself so what I need to do now is make it a link that's clickable and to do that I need to put it into an ahref tag um, I'm going to use um, this slash quote slash quote to mean that the quote is actually within the string itself um, I should have hoped to use that in the past on this uh, set of videos um, I'm going to copy that in like that so what I've got now is uh, a link which is my link the same link then repeated on the screen and then I've just got to close off the link as such and that will now be a link that they can click on and we'll take them to the registration link page and they'll have something set in the query string called the user ID which is set with here okay send the email that then sends as long as you've got um, an SMTP server and then the next stage is to actually work on the registration link itself so what we're going to do is when we uh, have a link we're going to say if this dot is post back equals equals false so if this is the first time this page is actually being loaded up but what we need to check now is that there is actually that id equals actually stored if request dot query string id does not equal null which means there is a request query string there which is what we're looking for and the process is actually we're going to find the user id in the database so uh, string user ID equals request query string ID. So using a Mac keyboard in a virtualized Windows environment is actually quite tricky. Uh, equals that. So there's my user ID. And then what I can do with that is I can say if um, I can find that um, does this record exist? in the database. I'm going to leave you guys to actually work that bit out and see if you can find the SQL code for that. Um, if it does, obviously all's well and good. Can't find the person. So uh, redirect to the default page. I'm going to actually request.redirect and that's response sorry response.redirect and we're going to go to our default page so if the record doesn't exist uh, we're going to move away from this page the person's clicked on it and because they've got a, a, an invalid uh, request if the request is okay um, check to see in the database if the password typed in matches that against the user ID that has been given, if it does, then the person has successfully simple as that. Um, I'm going to do another video with the extra bits added in but I'm not going to be able to publish that for a few days so let's see if anyone can actually come up with what they need to for the record existing in the database first of all and then how you actually run this confirm page. I should have given you enough hints. Uh, if you want a bit of a diagram, it's a very very poor diagram, the person's filled out the sign up page that then sends the email. They click on the email that takes them to the registration link page 
They fill out their password, click a button, and that should then forward them, after confirmation has been updated in the database, to the, back to the home page as if you've got an account set up. So that's it, very, very simple, straightforward. I um, hope this is gonna be useful to you guys. Um, I know I'm not giving you all the code this time, um, partly because I'm running out of time and I've got some work to do myself today, but partly because uh, I think it's quite useful to get you guys to start thinking about what you're actually doing, not just copying and pasting code as need be. So let's see how you guys get on, and then I shall send you some solutions, hopefully in the next couple of days or so. Bye for now.